Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to my channel for another little radio video. It is 1900 UTC or 1 p.m. here in a cold snowy southern Illinois Thursday January 6, 2022. In this little video I want to show you real quick how to calibrate SDR console version 3.1 to make sure that your tuning is right on your signal and your frequency is accurate and everything. SDR Uno has an auto calibration feature, but I don't think SDR console does. So I'm going to show you real quick how to do it. Very, very easy. So let's launch SDR console here. Get it going. And I'm going to calibrate on 15. You can do it on 5, 10, or 20, whatever's coming in. I like to do it on 15 because it's right in the middle of the shortwave spectrum. So and just it seems like it makes it more accurate on the lower and the upper both so let's get this started get the console running unmute it and what we're going to do is go here to zoom we're going to zoom this all the way up and you'll see this kind of mess here now if you're if your ribbon bar is expanded, it will look like this. I keep mine hidden, not hidden, but reduced. It's the same, it'll be the same. So go to view, right here, view tab. Turn on the tuning bars if they're not on already. And you see the line. Now go back to view, go to resolution right here, and go to full resolution, which is time 16 on this version. And you'll see the uh, tuning line right there makes sure we're zoomed up again and we're going to play with this a little bit just to try to get the signal as bright and as clear as we can see what's going on okay well now the object we're going to try to do is we want to get this tuning line right in the center of our signal and you can see mine looks like it's to the right just a little bit. So I want to get that centered. So we're going to go up here to home button. Click calibration. Now this will move your move down. This will move up. So I need to go move my tuning bar down. So I'm going to go negative. So we're going to start. See what this does. And you can see it moved it down a little bit. Let it, stay, let it stabilize just for a second. That's good. I mean, this will work perfectly fine. But being so as particular as I am, I have to try to get it dead center. And it's pretty close, it looks like. Of course, the signal is going to fade right now, just a little bit. And I think I'm going to leave it right there for the time being. Because it looks pretty centered to me. And now the signal's coming back a little bit, so yeah, let's bump it up real just one number. Yeah, that looks <clears throat> that looks pretty good to me. That'll work. So I'm at zero plus five five eight. Yours may be different. And when you're done, just click that out. And let it stabilize for a second. Just to make sure you're happy with it. And that looks like that's centered enough for me, so let's try 10. And 10 looks like it's good. 20 is not coming in, I've already checked. But you can see that's, that's centered right there on 10. And if we go up to 15 again, looks like it's centered. I think we're okay. You can play with the. So that works for me. It looks, it looks good. I'm going to leave it there. And you can also tell too by going to the lower side and the upper side, there's hardly any difference in the sound. Yeah, we're done on. 
So that's all you do. And then once you're happy with it and your, your signal's right in line, just bring your zoom back down. Go back to view. You can turn the tuning bars off. Put your resolution back down to default. Do the auto. And there you go, you're calibrated. And you can turn the tuning bars back on. You can kind of check it. You can see it. See how it covers the signal up. So we're good. And that's all you have to do to calibrate SDR console. And once it's set, you shouldn't have to change it again. It, it will save it in your registry settings. And um, if you want to save all of your settings and everything, just go to tools up here, backup, and hit backup. And it gives you all your favorites and everything right here. Select where you want it to save it to. And hit save. And archive complete. And everything's backed up. And then if you ever had to reinstall a console or anything, you can go back to tools, backup, and restore. Point it to that file and it will, it will restore everything that you uh, backed up. But that's how you do it. So um, just a quick little video. Thanks for watching and uh, take care everyone. And we'll see you later.